Um, okay. And uh, I will even take it as far as All right, so you know, so, so essentially, I've basically created a user account. Uh, so this is, you know, this would be maybe perhaps um, you know, Fabricam still, you know, still having a help desk person create an account, right? There is no connection to any HR databases in this demo. But you know, if you know, if a help desk person were doing this, this is what they would do. Uh, you know, this is what they would do. So now I've got my user created in this for an identity manager uh, portal. And I want to show you guys just real quickly, this is the container that my users will end up in. So notice that there's nothing here that's Active Directory users and computers. And if I show you uh, my user profiles that I have right now, um, I only have my administrator account and the AD import user we did earlier. Okay, so I just want to... There, there are no smoke and mirrors here. And uh, I'll just go ahead and toggle this. Okay, cool. So now I will go into FIM and uh, import that data. I, I've kind of combined the steps here uh, just uh, to save time. Uh, so I'm going to do an import and a sync in the same combined step. And that should not take very long. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. So what I have here. Uh, let me just move this. Uh. So basically, uh, so the free management agent imported that user um, that I just created, and what it essentially has done here is it has projected, it has figured out from all the rules that I set up that A, that user needs to be created in the AD space and also it needs to be created in the SharePoint space. So that's what these, uh, that's what these numbers down here are saying. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want that user to, you know, I'm going to export that user to Active Directory. So again, um, I've kind of combined steps in this for this demo. So I've got an export. Um, uh, so I, the export will basically write the user to Active Directory. Then I am importing that user back uh, into FIM. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there are attributes like the object SID that I cannot reach. You know, when I created the user, that user has no SID, right? So you have to write the user to AD, read the user back to get things like the SID and some other things that are necessary. And, uh, and then last thing um, is I'm going to run a sync on that account, which basically will push the SID information to SharePoint. Um, you remember, because on the previous slide I said the object SID was one of the required attributes for SharePoint. So, so I'll run that real quick. Um, oh, yeah, that was fast. So that's, oh, sorry, it's not done. It's almost done. Okay, cool. So now if we go to Active Directory Users of Computers and I refresh, I have Jim Bob. And that's an enabled account and with a preset password. So that user is ready to log on and you know, no, no further administrative uh, uh, things have to be done. All right, so last but not least, uh, okay, so we've got that user in AD. Let's also export that user. To SharePoint. Got my fingers 
just crushed. <laughs> it works. It's it's warming up in the background. So okay, awesome. So so now basically we see that one user was added to SharePoint. So if I switch to my SharePoint server, uh, we have two profiles there. If I refresh, you guys can see that we're now up to three profiles. So one of the things that, that was really, that I think is cool too, is you guys saw that I uh, uploaded a picture to, for that user. Well, I want that, I want that picture to show up in SharePoint um, also, right? Because that's, you know, that, you know photos or, or are really essential in SharePoint. I mean, or at least they make you know they make that experience more valuable. So basically, what I'm doing here on the screen is there is a piece of PowerShell uh, that will need to be run if you're doing if you have uh, if you're importing photos. Is uh, there's a piece of PowerShell that you need to run that basically and let me explain that. So those photos.